raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. family. All right, y'all. So today, Brandy, let's tell everybody about how many we got. Seven bourbons. Yeah, they're all bourbons. Seven bourbons that you should be trying to find. And it's what we're drinking right now. So 2024 started. We know we gave y'all the 2020 top, 2023 top 10 list. <laughs> Super late, we know. So we said, let's tell them what are we drinking right now. Right, Brandy? Right. All right. And so we have seven <laughs> bourbons that we are drinking right now, and we think you should try to find them if you haven't already. And I think the thing about this list is it's a good price range, nothing like very, very expensive. Great ranges from, I would say, $40 to 40 to maybe hmm, a, little, a little bit over $100, maybe $100. <laughs> but overall, they are all good bourbons, and I think you all should check it out. So I'm going to start. <laughs> Yeah, I see. She was waiting. What's that? What's that high price, Chase? Mm -hmm. What's the high price you get? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one that I have on the list is Hard Truth. This is the Hard Truth Weeded Bottled in Bond. So a hundred proof. It's a sweet mash. So it's basically, and I'm not going to go through the details, you all, but it's basically the opposite of the sour mash. So with, I'm just telling them. So a sour mash, they take a little bit of the uh, mash bill before and they create the new one. In the sweet mash, they start from scratch, Brandy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They start from scratch. 100 proof. The bottle was about $45. See, you saw that look on her face. $45, <laughs> maybe $50 at most when you include tax, right? You know. I can make a good mixed drink with that. See, you could. <clears throat> very good. Um, <clears throat> just a very good bottle. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go through all the details of the bottles, but just a very good bottle. And they have a lot of expressions out there, and I think it's something that you all should check out. Hard truth. Bottled and Bond, Sweet Mash, Weeded Bourbon, Weeded. All right, Brandon. All right. What you got? I got. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Because it's nothing <laughs> in this bottle. Not a thing in this bottle. Okay, so I had. You, you there you go. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. hey, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> he did not have to point that out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a blended straight bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's 118 proof. Mm -hmm. It's this is batch number eight. Batch eight. That was our. That was our like coming back into the scene. <laughs> it bottle. was. You it know. Was. <clears throat> <laughs> so that's what I'm drinking right now. I, I just killed the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> she I killed, killed the, the bottle. bottle. <laughs> it's on camera. <laughs> it's recorded. She killed the bottle. <laughs> mm -hmm. He didn't leave me much. No, to kill. no, 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 he didn't no, leave me no, much no, to kill, no, no. But I, no. I finished what was left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a wink like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, right. He's got another one mm -hmm. in his back pocket. Okay. So, K Luke. K Luke, batch eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, the next one that I have is Rabbit Hole. So Rabbit Hole came out with a single barrel. It was like a special edition. And you all can see we have a, a man on the, the label here. And this one was cash strength. So that's the thing. Uh, Rabbit Hole, they have a lot of different expressions, different proof points. They have different finishes and things like that. But this was just stray bourbon. This one came in at 108 
0.3. Um, price point was a little high. I was similar to K, uh, K Luke. We didn't K -Luke. say how much that one was. Yeah, K Luke was about $100. I think a little bit over $100. And so was this one. I think this was like $105, <clears throat> maybe $110. So somewhere in the same you know, round. I'm looking at Brandy as I'm saying the, the, the price. Like, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, Rabbit Hole Single Barrel Cash String. It's very good, you all. Um, as far as the, the age of it, I'm not quite sure. It is a single barrel, but something to just check out. If you see it in the store and you like, hey, I heard Black Bourbon Family talk about this one, check it out. All right, Brandy. So, Copper and Cass. Oh, my goodness. I love Copper and Cass. Mm -hmm. Me too, man. I, I really do. Mm -hmm. um, but this one uh, is finished in Armagnac Cass. Armagnac Cass. Armagnac. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is a small batch series of theirs. This is 13 years. 13 year Kentucky bourbon, Brandy. Mm. And, and it's sixty dollars, y'all. Can you believe it? Sixty dollars. Can't beat it. So, Brandy, I'm gonna just throw this out there. If the people from Copper and Cask would like to join the Black Bourbon family on a video, oh. I would be very happy about that because I'm just taking a quick. I'm a huge fan. Can I say it again? I'm a huge fan. Say it one more time. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> a huge fan of Copper and Cask. They are, in my opinion, one of the most underrated bourbon companies out there. So I'm going to just leave it like this. Copper and Cask, we would love to have you on the channel to talk about your bourbon, talk about all the things that you're doing. And I want to understand, how do you have a 13-year-old bourbon finished in Armagnac for $60? I'm going to leave it at that. There you go. Very good, Brandy. Very, Very good. good. All right, so the next one that I have on my list is Old Faithful, Jack Daniels. But this, Brandy, is the Jack Daniels 12 year, coming in at 107 proof, I believe. Yep, 107 proof. And this is batch number two. So batch number one was released in 2023. Batch number, and we didn't get that. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead. She gonna try to call me out. Go ahead, Brandy, go ahead. Mm-hmm, go ahead. I'm gonna just show y'all the bottle, and she gonna say that it was most of me drinking. And it was. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> no. I might have had a sip. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. Jack Daniels, 12 year, 107 proof. Batch number two. It's good, y'all. As a matter of fact, it's so good. I'm going to pour some for myself right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, Brandy, it is very good. It's very good. And price point, I believe this one was like 90 maybe a hundred dollars or whatever. You know, you gotta be careful with Brandy. If, if y'all see her, just give me a quick jab to the, you know, side real quick. If her hands leave the table, that means she hit me, y'all. That means she hit me. I'm just gonna <laughs> tell y'all the truth. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> you see she ain't deny it. <laughs> uh -huh. So Jack Daniels, 12 year, 107 proof, batch number two, very good. Check it out if you haven't. All right. Mm -hmm. So, got another copper. <laughs> got another copper. And this one is Copper Crafts. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a limited release. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small batch, 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% barley. Mm, okay. And it's nine years old. I think you said this one's 60 as well? This one's, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, like $60. This was a single barrel, actually. And mm -hmm. it was a store pick. $60. MGP. And it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that face? <laughs> it's good. 
It is. It's very good. And let's just, I'm going to be honest. We've had this bottle for a while. We just opened it recently. And once I opened it, Brandy took care of the rest, y'all. I'm just going to say it. Brandy, really? What? Brandy took care of the rest. So, Copper Craft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> help me, y'all. Help me. All right, so the last one that I have is, it may be a little controversial, right? This comes out three times a year, and this year's first batch, people were iffy on it, Brandy. But we enjoyed it. This is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124. We like this, y'all. I know the C... So, thing is, Brandy, C923, who was, which was number one in our 2023 mm -hmm. uh, bourbon of the year, right? It's basically bourbon of the year. People were comparing that to this one. I get it, right? It's not as good as that one. This one isn't. Mm -hmm. But this one is good, you all. It's very good. Um, we think you would really enjoy it. I enjoy it. Brandy enjoys it, right? I do. Yeah. I mean, look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. Look at the bottle, y'all. We enjoy this one. So I would highly recommend you all pick this up because in our opinion, it's very good and very much worth picking up if you see it in the store. You know, it's a hundred and let me see, 119 proof, 10 years, nine months, 60, $65, right? Great price. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, y'all. So we just wanted to provide you a quick update on what we feel you should be checking out in the store, what we're drinking right now. As you can see, Brandy drunk all the K Luke. So what we drinking, that's not even possible anymore. <clears throat> because I got another bottle, so we are drinking still. Whatever, Brandy. Let's, let's wrap this up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All you do it is talking about what I've been drinking. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So, now the Smith Switch. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoy our video. And seriously, pick up these bottles. We have some great bottles here. We think you enjoy them. And we will see you next time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>